What's cracking guys, and today's video is a different one. Um, a famous YouTuber called wild for games uh, reviewed my channel. He does channel reviews on his stream. Um, I'll be sure to put all his links below. Um, this one's mine. I, I also stream uh, twitch.tv forward slash Liam Nantes uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, sometimes Saturdays, but uh, follow Twitter for that. Anyway, so wild he reviews people's channels, tells them uh, what, what's good, what's not, what's what looks good, what sounds bad, and then just gives you an overall, like, um, just kind of leads you in the right direction. And if you follow it, you should should be at least, you know, improving a little bit. Now, I would, how I, what I want to explain to you guys today is that after he did my channel review, two weeks later, I got affiliate. And this isn't just, I was going to get it anyway. Honestly, I was at a, probably an average of like 1.4 viewers at that point before I, I had my channel reviewed. And um, after taking his advice, there's a big, big, big tip at the end of this video, which helped me the most out of all the other ones. So stay tuned. Um, I got affiliate two weeks later. I have an average viewers of 3.5 now, nearly doubled it. Hopefully, let's keep us rising. <laughs> anyway, um, let's check out what he has to say. I'm going to be uh, giving my own two cents and uh, things that I did, things that I'm going to do. I haven't done everything he asked me to do just yet, but I, I'll probably, I'm pretty much going to do everything he said because, <laughs> I mean, I got a feeling in two weeks. But stick, stick around to the video. Um, uh, let's go check out what he said. Okay, so this is the handsome man himself. Let's see what he has to... Let's, I've only watched this like twice, so. It's always fun let's to celebrate. It. All right, let's pause the musica. Is, is everything all set also up for edited? Liam? So there should so be some So if you guys have ever been here, what we do for a Twitch channel review and breakdowns, we try to look at what works, what doesn't work, what's convoluted, take it away, kind of clean everything up for you so you have a better personal branding and impact for when you start streaming to bigger audiences. And if you're struggling anywhere, we try to point you in the right direction. Everybody's been really loving it. Open forum here. So if you like something that you see here, you know, let the streamer know that's being displayed on screen. If you don't like it, hey, that's still valuable. Just be nice when you tell that person. Any critique is good critique. Up down. I Alrighty. So for <laughs> even Liam, if you don't agree with it, the awesomeness that is him. When we first get to your offline screen, we always want to make sure it contains three key elements. Okay, we want to make sure that it has your personal branding, your social medias that you want to promote, and also your general stream time. And the reason that's important, Liam, is because this is your billboard to the world. When you ever get embedded or mentioned and people link to your channel, it's not the actual channel they're linking to or displaying on like emails, forums, blogs, all that. It's your video player. Fortunate to me, I did watch his stream before getting my thing reviewed. So he did recommend this to most other channels. Um, I'm just Which, now, I do this at the worst time. Billboard piece of information. Uh, Machine, thank you for the love. I appreciate it. So uh, before he said anything, I literally just had stream offline. And that's it. I didn't have the Catch Me Wednesday. I didn't have my socials underneath it. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a good idea anyway. It really is to just have give people what your socials if you're not online and when you are going to be streaming. So we want to make sure it has those key elements in here. So we got stream offline, Catch Me Wednesday, Thursday at 8.30 p.m. and Friday at 8 p.m. Uh, Australian time. Um, and I'll be honest, the, the, the Australian accent is... <laughs> hot garbage but it's still funny and liam at twitter instagram he'll, he'll do more later don't worry YouTube. so very good and clean for what we have when we got your kind of aesthetic colors for turquoise and twitch purple we'll just say with some white accents in there so simplistic and right to the point i don't think it has a full personal branding it also has looks like it's got some fade back in here with like maybe japanese characters or something like that um Overall, I think it's good, simplistic, right to the point, but I would consider a placeholder until perhaps you grow a little bit bigger and better for you and what you want to take your direction to. So my uh, overlays and my stream packet, all that kind of stuff was gotten, was done on, I think visuals by impulse is one of their packages. I think it's the edge package. I got it and then I just kind of edited it myself with the colors I wanted. Um, but he is right. There's just kind of like Japanese right in the back. It kind of looks cool, but it's like, it's not, it's not what my style is just yet, but it, 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 I, I like the look of it and I think it looks pretty sick. Where you can incorporate a little more personal branding, but all in all, dude, I like it. Um, as we go down, we want to make sure we continue those personal colors 
all the or personally branded Did colors all the way through to make it look uh, you know <laughs> cohesive and professional. So let's take a look as we go down. So good job. You got the aquas and you got the whites. So about me, schedule, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, donate, games, set up, computer, and uh, plug in. So good job of carrying it all the way down, dude. And look at that. Look at that little handsome face. Such a cutie. All righty. So let's see what we got for your <laughs> cringe, section. Cringe, cringe. Do you like poor jokes and cheesy puns? Because if not, oh, because if you don't, it's, wait, damn it. Because if you don't, this is Nacho Stream. But don't everyone loves puns nice. <laughs> when I'm not yelling at my friends after dying because solo pushed a team I make funny videos on Instagram with F or VFX so all of shameless blog to my Instagram uh, <laughs> I do make funny videos yeah. they're not all video game related that some can just be anything I find funny and normally I do something that because I work at a visual effects company I try to do something to them to make them a bit more different than everyone else's like funny videos. But anyway, shameless plug aside, back to it. No, not bad. I, I think it's fun and it's punny to keep you going. I actually think that this part is really funny when I'm not yelling at my friends after dying because I solo push. Look at those, look at that follower list. 30. That was two weeks ago. We'll, we'll see the stats later, but it's tripled. <laughs> the team, like, is that not the perfect <clears throat> personification of everybody on this platform getting pissed at their squad? That's like, where were you, bro? Obviously, you saw me going in alone when I said we should group up. It's like, damn. Oh, gotta love it, dude. Gotta love it. Um, I that's that fun. And then I make funny <laughs> videos on Instagram with FX Twitch. The only thing you really, really don't go in deep about is that I'd like to see you expand upon, Liam, is for you and for your content, we don't really talk about what makes those valuable. We don't really talk about what makes those unique. We don't really talk about what makes those different. Now you yelling at your friends, that's kind of, like we said, that's how everything is. So that doesn't make you different or unique. We want to expand a little bit up, up, upon this. Making funny videos on Instagram and FX with the twist is cool, but if it was like video game related. I don't know why he can't say VFX. <laughs> I don't know why that's a struggle, but all good. Or centered around Twitch, that would be even more uh, of a better win for you because nobody's going to really care if that content has nothing to do with you or what they find on this platform. He's definitely right. Uh, with my Instagram content, it, it doesn't have much crossover because it doesn't involve video games. So it's, if you have something video game related, obviously it'd be easier to transfer that audience over to Twitch. But small steps. So I, I would say it needs a little bit of reworking to incorporate those three values, okay? So let's make sure all your socials connect. Oh, cringe. Here we go. Ready um, ready for this? IMDB. Super dope. You can actually find me under IMDB. Um, your YouTube does mm. not connect, so I, I imagine whatever you got here. Actually, you know, it could be no, the fact just that me. you don't have a C in here. Let's see. Nope. Still nothing. Uh, you got to see what uh, the actual appropriate name for what your YouTube's in there so that way you can connect it forward to you. Your Twitter connects to your Twitter. Good job. And your Instagram to your Instagram. Good I finally job. clicked on one of the so videos. We just need to fix the YouTube one, which we'll probably need to fix down here, which we'll just check really quick. You will. I yeah, do. Four, four, it is now. fixed now, guys. So just make before sure you just anyone that. says anything. Easy fix. Easy fix. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go down here. Well, let me see what's in this about me and we can see what we incorporate up here. Nothing. What's cracking? I'm a visual effects artist living in Melbourne, Australia. I enjoy making people laugh, whether it's live on Twitch or the funny videos I post on my other social medias. Uh, Mia or Maya? Maya? Maya O? Maya O? This is my channel review. Uh, my hobbies no include participating in the gentle arts of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, Tenth planet, Southbourne, Melbourne, trying to escape flavors of boba tea. So these are all, this is more like um, if you were signing up for Tinder, Liam, and you needed to give some like quick little tidbits about you so that way you didn't get swiped left or right, whichever one's the bad one, I don't know. I've never been on Tinder, although I feel like I should be because I'd probably do fantastic. Um, this has nothing to do with like what you are on this platform. You want to make it centered to what the values are of are you again those three things we talked about so rework it it's not wrong like that like you would put so, that in tinder bio. not bad angry I ride i think for love i appreciate it so <laughs> over to schedule here we got wednesday thursday Friday, especially the Saturday, thing about bubble tea that's such a tinder you can make this into i love a bubble tea by the way, so that way people oh me can too it, go directly to your twitter Whatever. if you're not right, sure to do that, look in markdown which oh, is under edit panel nice easy trick for you um this isn't written out that bad um, not bad at all. Hey, what I'd formatting. probably do is, if, again, if you want to write these in Markdown, like if you look down in my channel, you can see how they're indented in bullet point or just bullet point in general. That way it makes it easier for the eye to grasp onto if you want to. Nice and easy trick, again, to make it look clean. 
Alrighty, so we got the schedule. About me and schedule. I'm glad you got those in the position one and two. So you only got 30 of followers, so you just started your journey here on Twitter. I guess, sorry, true. Twitch? Getting my T's confused. So the good news is you've got this put in in the correct order. So you've got your funnels coming in, and especially if you're generating other content heavily on other platforms like Twitch, or sorry, getting my other ones, uh, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, Liam, those are good funnels that can pull into this platform here, which is why we call them funnels and tunnels, okay? So good news is you got your Instagram, your Twitter, and your YouTube next. Uh, did you have one more? Nope. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. No, I guess that was it. For some reason, I thought there was one more. So all three of those, we already know that we need to fix the YouTube, uh, and those connect as well, so good job. So hey. very impressed, very impressed. So do, 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 do. So after the social side, I still want to make the things that make your channel flow better, Liam. So in all of this, you never really told us what kind of content you provide on this platform. So we have no idea what really to expect. So under your game side, I want this to be not your game ID. We're going to make that its own panel, but you can put your games there and let us know what platforms you're playing on or go a little more in depth about it, okay? Or you can mention that in the About Me section. Like for example, Mimi Tendo is a, uh, uh, a Nintendo only streamer, so she plays like Switch. So that way people know right at a moment's notice that's the content that I expect when I come into I think I'm channel. changing that bio soon. So we just need to um, elaborate or refine it down, if you will, on that. Um, so so that's where you can talk about like, your Fortnite, though. Project Winter, uh, Valorant, horror thriller games, and stuff like that. Then I want you to make a gamer ID panel because that's where the I would be going to look for that particular information where you would be putting in things like your Steam, Epic, Origin, Activision. I would not put uh, Steam, Epic, etc. because the etc. does probably not cover every platform out there. I would put the platforms that you're dedicated on because it's like, what well, does that mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Like it's obviously there are some places that have your name and then a code as well. So it's kind of counterintuitive if I just put that but your rocket league chilling. idea is you know liam does that mean your activision account is liam does that mean your blank account is liam just it put is. the ones you have and it's just easier for people put it in alphabetical order so that way it's easy for people to find Alrighty, so we got the about schedule the socials what makes your channel flow now is where we would work into the monetization side so you're not affiliate yet because you got to get to 50 followers spoiler i am affiliate now got to get the average of three and the seven different streaming days and all that you're gonna hit it i know you are because we're gonna correct he's right you do hit it here in a moment but when but you do it's, Liam, it's, 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 the next panels that i want to follow are your subscriber panel which can show your perks your should benefits, be it should be up now click through if you go down through my channel just copy my url and put your name in it and then i want you to put everything else that's monetizable your donation panel if you feel like when you feel like your content's worth it you know you can put a donation panel so move that down underneath that then you can do things like merchandise, your stream setup, affiliation, stream gear, all of that, put that underneath there, okay? And then that's gonna make your channel nice and clean and then slam this countdown all the way to the bottom because it's an extension. I so I've done that's how I would that. clean up everything. And the reason you, like I like the countdown because um, if you're in a different time zone or something like that, um, people will know when you're going live because it'll be like, oh, going live in like five or six hours and they can figure that out instead of being like, oh, what is 8 p.m. Australian Eastern time, you know? <laughs> Um, but the problem is that is if a lot of people use mobile and the extensions don't show up on mobile so there's no point in having that in the middle of your your panels if it doesn't show up given majority of people won't see it what else um i would probably do let's see here it's my sweet setup I would probably make the panel that says stream setup and eliminate this little title here so that way everybody knows this is your stream setup and this is your computer. Good job on, you know, separating out your hardware. Um, you could probably do like hardware and, you know, peripherals um, if you wanted to. So that way there's like two different divisions so that way people know what they're going for. Good job, by the way. Again, you can write these in bullet points on Markdown so that way it's easy. I would write them in um, alphabetical order so it's easy for the eye to understand. Or you can do breakups between sense. like visuals, audio, lighting, things like that, depending on however you want to structure it. These probably all go to Amazon affiliate links, which are probably for your uh, where you are in the world. So good job, dude. I'm proud of you. These all look really <sighs> Half of my links go to the right place, but everything's sold out. Bloody COVID. COVID bullshit. <laughs> Can't get any money. No, no one's buying these links from me. From me, at least. Clean. I would just probably write it in bullet point. So that way it's just easy for the eye to take a look at. That's all. All in all, dude, not bad. Not bad. Let's take hey, a look at see? the not beautifulness bad. that is look you that. by looking at your clips and your video. See how we can help there. 
Clipperinos. I want to. S- I literally had to delete a clip because it, 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 my all time clip, nothing happened. And I don't know why, but this just happens <laughs> to like everyone's. A lot of people's clips have that. The, the, someone will clip it, but they'll clip it wrong. And then people will be like, oh, this is a sick clip. Let's, let's click on it. And then they're like, it, there's nothing in it. But fucking 20 people looked at it. So it's the top clip. So I had to delete it because there was no point in watching that one. Dude, the all time high. This one's a good one, though. This was like my, th- I'm going to be honest, like my third stream. I can I hear you, clip. thank God. You're a handsome looking guy, dude. We're going to have some competition on this fucking channel. Cringe. <laughs> I do not like where this is going. You're way more handsome than me. Oh. Oh. Fucking oh. That was a dope nade. Fucking Kobe. That was great, dude. <laughs> I remember when I would get lucky in, you know, yeah, Battle Royales sure. too. Lucky? Did you just say lucky? Bro, that was calculated. I knew he was at the top there and I just threw grenades up. I mean, there was an element of luck, but lucky is well, that's a bit overstepping. Anyway. That's for you, Andy, Boom! If you're still watching. <laughs> I have a feeling he clicked his hands, though, instead of like doing the hit thing that you do like that. I think he went like this and just kind of clicked, but <laughs> that's, you can all make your own judgments. Let's just. Ah, dope nade. Fucking Kobe. Let's just. Let's that was great, re- dude. Re- replay, replay. I remember when I would get lucky in you know, Battle Royales yeah. too. That's for you, Andy. Yeah, Boom! <laughs> <laughs> right, some people don't that. know about it. I think it's a very, right, like, alley let's take a look at the rest of your handsomeness. When I was in high school. Well, maybe in primary, not high school. You dropped Liam a follow? I mean, how could you not? The man's handsome as shit. Thank you. All right, so let's look at the visuals of what we got here for you, I'm Liam. okay. So for your visuals, um, now that everything's rendered in, Everything looks really, really clean and crisp. I don't see any screen tearing or any mosaicing, latency, and nothing like that. So good job. Fantastic on all the visuals of the gameplay hey. side. Um, as for the visuals of what you're aesthetically putting on to Shout make Shout out to out Harris Hellwell for the... Um, Not bad, I think. For the stream setup advice, like the, the OBS settings. I think they're pretty solid. I mean, it's nothing special. Like, I paused literally on a very mosaic <laughs> situation. But it, like 900p, it should be what you're streaming at. So 720 or 900, given how your internet is. No, no point going 1080 just yet. I think you have something here where it's got uh, some good colors. However, let's refine this and fix it to make it a little bit better, okay? So one of the things I always talk about is the eye scientifically is attracted to brightness and contrast well, I replayed and saturation a, and clarity. I just realized this. I replayed a follower on my event list just because they, they weren't there for the day and um now it shows up twice i don't know if you can see that it might be too small but it looks like i'm just the same person followed twice okay so to take advantage of that when you have things like your event list or your border that goes around your camera which is i like the dope one i like how it's like an 80 80 uh percent completion border that, frame it's actually but here's fully the problem, by me. is it's a muted border frame it's a it's a good twitch purple it's a darker twitch purple on the violet side but it's not a cool poppy piece of eye candy that would pop out you know on dark mode or light mode or on your video player so if i were you i would bump up the saturation and the brilliance and vibrance of that so it stands out it's a little more eye catching for when people go through the brow side your your light in the background i think is cool i think it'd probably be beneficial if you had two so i'm just gonna say it out here i if you haven't seen i did change my border i did want to make it animated but i felt like uh, my fr- I, I was getting too many frame like frame drops like it was yeah it, and i don't think it looked really smooth enough um yeah i just didn't want to i just want to add more stuff to my rendering given my setup right now so what i did was obviously did a gradient from light blue to purple which is the colors that that, that are, they're my stream colors and then when it returns to the light bulb in the back um i am still thinking of getting a second one but I've at least i have that on a breathing mode where it changes color so it's definitely got more of a um contrasty saturation not saturation but more contrasty in the background because it constantly changes lights one on each side that cascade out or two in the middle that cascade out you know you pick and choose whatever you want because the one that you got on the little socket lamp right there that kicks back is uh, it looks kind of funny i feel like we could just buy another light for you know uh six dollar dollar reduce I, I, I can't remember what your currency is it's, um, it's dollar reduce 
um, and put that up there, Shit. and then boom, you've got a nice <laughs> little piece of separation in planes that makes you pop. However, you're doing yourself. That's an LFX or LIFX. Yes, it is. It's just the bulb, though, I think it's, right? I think it's, it's just, just, it's just producing out of this little lamp, right? It's not like it's not like the panels or the bars. <laughs> I love the sound of double digital red these. <laughs> yeah, it's just bulb. Okay, Talk. I would say get two. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the end of the Australian accent. But get two, so that way you've it. got like a cool, cool little gradient cascade going across. It'd be very eye catchy. Um, here's the thing that I have a problem with with your camera. You are handsome. Hey. We should use that to your advantage, and you're not taking advantage of it because one, you are itty bit. I don't know if anyone can see this with this webcam, but it is actually because it's hard to compare with the one that's down there. But it is also. I also made it a little bit bigger. Uh, Tell myself in it, but. I did make it bigger. Now, here's the cool thing. If you're planning on playing games like Fortnite or games that people are very um, accustomed to seeing all the time and nothing's really changed, hey, make your cam bigger because that's the thing that's going to separate you out from everybody else. Remember how we talked about unique and bigger? Different? Those are things that are going to separate you out. So make you bigger. Fill up more of the frame of your cam. You can see you are like got a little bit of headspace there. So you can push the camera in. More of your face. More you. Mo better, man. Um, I probably is, should. The lighting um, on you isn't vibrant. Probably should crop a bit because I, I do have like look how much space I have on my top of my head. I don't need that much space. As much as I like the wide angle, I don't need the top. So I could should probably crop a bit. Maybe crop a bit of the sides and bring it in. I haven't done that yet. I I kind of still like kind of how my cam is set up right now. But he does have a valid point with like I do have space. Dead. I got a bit of dead space like at least here. I want to keep my llama in, obviously. That's what people come here for enough to make you stand out to produce a high quality image so you can see in your skin tones on like your neck and on your side it's not clean and it's not crisp so we need to get a little bit better lighting on you and then boom dude that's going to make you pop in the front and then make your background fall off and give you that really sharp look that you want um and it's gonna look really really good dude all in all not bad you don't have anything that's over audacious you don't have anything that's you know blocking anything that's got a key element i would just improve the bigger size of this maybe even a little bit of your event calendar down here or event list sorry um because it's a little hard to see for the font i think i've made it a bit bigger with, or at least but that's a minor thing bigger bigger font so and, that uh, should be fixed let's listen well. to that voice it's the worst right? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best experiment to do though like go to your stream go like halfway go anywhere just go go to a point and just let it play and then pretend you're a viewer that just dropped in. Because <laughs> you, don't, you don't realize when you're playing, you're like, I talk all the time. What do you mean? Like, what? I'm so interactive. I'm checking the chat. And then you do that, and then you'll see, oh, I just spent 30 seconds saying literally nothing. Who designed my Twitch graphics, Julie Kitty? Uh, they were commissions from a company called Owned, oh, 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 sorry, OverlayTemplate.com. You have the LED panel too. I do need another lighter turned up more. If you have the LED panels, like if you say you have the What's LED up? panels in addition to the bulb that you have there, I would say use the panels and play around. Maybe you could put the panels kind of like hidden a little bit behind your chair so they glow and cascade up and then you can put the bulb over to the side or maybe you have the panels over where I think you're, that's a bookshelf I think behind you and then you have the bulb on the other side. I would say play around with it and see what aesthetically looks pleasing for there, your bro. style. I just think you could benefit from having balanced light or you know some kind of nice balance or rule of thirds there get it for 110 okay so just up with what what he's gonna say soon i have to explain it because he he takes what what didn't technically happen but we'll, we'll, we'll get there so when you talk liam you have crystal clear, good richness of voice. But we've been watching for 45 seconds and I feared your squad may talk more. Why would you push it to the edge of the storm, you idiot? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, he thinks I'm yelling at my teammates when I'm not. <laughs> so the reason I'm angry is if you look at the top left, <laughs> I don't know why I have to explain this to you, but to you guys. But if you look at the top right of the screen, the, the storm is moving, right? The storm is moving. Zone is the complete opposite direction. So we're down here. These guys have pushed us when the storm's moving. Therefore, we're both going to die. 
for example, watch the rest of this clip, but he thinks I'm yelling at my teammates, but I'm not. I'm yelling at the team that pushed us at the edge of the storm when the storm's moving near the end of the game, where the storm ticks for five, 10 damage. Anyway. Why were you pushing? I was gonna solo take Shut this all by myself. Time. You guys are all horrible. You're all trash. You're all trash. Oh, good job. You took him down. Okay, come get me. Revive me. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Quick, the storm's gonna get me. Good. Wait. Good. Way to go. Way to go, bro. Way to come and get me. You're all trash. I can't even play with these kids anymore. All right. Who wants to play again? Who wants to play again? All right. All right. You? Okay, we'll sign you up. That's literally, that was probably going on his mind. On his mind. And I bumped my camera and it went everywhere. It wasn't. That's but kind the excitement of, but kind that of a nut. you need to have, Liam. That makes entertaining, exciting engagement factors. That whole Let's time. See. They're there. And there. You were so concentrated oh, on the game. And they're going to die. And being a gamer when you need to be a streamer. Now, you're just starting out because, you know, you only got the 33 followers and stuff. So, let's work on the just next saying. few. Uh, but that's why, that's why I was angry. I'm not justifying what happened. I'm just saying that's why I was angry. People pushed us for the storm. I wasn't yelling at my teammates. I always yell at my teammates, but not that time. Hashtag never yelled at teammates. <laughs> One to two months here. Let's work on the days that you have. I think you had three. Let me go back here really quick. It's the stupidest push in my life. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. Three, or no, you, uh, yeah, three days. We're not going to count Saturday. Out of these three that. days, dude, I want you to do me a favor. If you can give me two days, that would be awesome. One day is just as good. Whatever day you pick and choose, and I want you to do something. Let's take a look at your videos really quick. I'm going to see what games. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Second one wasn't Fortnite. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. <laughs> just chatting, Valorant, Fortnite. So Fortnite and Valorant will group in the same thing. I want you to make your stream about people coming in with the open lobby forum of getting people to come in and play with you. And when you do, I want you to make the stream entirely about them. And I really only want you to stream for about one to three hours, if you have the energy for three. But I want you to constantly nonstop be chatting. I don't Jeez. care if there's zero viewers in there or a hundred viewers in there. We need to work on your presentation skills, your, uh, your social skills, your engagement skills, all of that, okay? And that's what that one or two dedicated stream is going to be working about. Because you're going to get your flow really and you're going to work and it's on something it. So that I've way when you go from one month to two to talk months from more. now, you're going to have a better way of presenting Even if you there's as no a one streamer watching. and have that streamer mentality. But Liam, I would say, bro, I would say, bro, bro. Fortnite going to be very tough, obviously oversaturated. Definitely. Valorant, very tough, oversaturated. But if we can make your title more enticing for people to come in and play games with you on duos trips or squads that's going to be a great place for you especially at the time you're broadcasting at which is you know in australia you could really start picking up people that'd be you know at unique hours that don't have anybody to play with we just need to make your titles better so don't be afraid to put you know open lobby playing with viewers or looking for a duo squad mate or you know looking for the best or playing ranked looking for an open you know partner something like that make it enticing for people to come in want to play with you and then work on those social skills because that's what we need to get you've got all the correct things all the correct things but we need more of you more of you absolutely um <clears throat> so what he said is an absolute fact and truth it is one of the main reasons i got affiliate so he he's right so i think i will we'll, we'll, we'll give it a you second got a great think, voice great presentation i, the, I would say I'll, I'll wrap here, this up. okay here's what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna do from one do me a favor in addition liam from this day was july 1st right yeah from this day july uh, 1st to uh 60 days from now 60 days from now let's do a test liam 60 days let's take it's out been two weeks um what was this game project winter take out project winter and i want you to go on the brown section of Twitter. project winter was a really good stream for me because i used to get like five or six people watching me and i'll get like a ton of followers like five or six followers a stream i'll be like this is awesome but the problem with it is that with only 100 people watching project winter there's a very small ceiling for me for any streamer so you he suggests streaming games that have i think 10k between 10k and 1k viewers because you're much more likely to be seen on the the browse page um, i'm gonna let him keep going for a bit before i keep explaining which and whatever's between let's just i'll give you a wider range whatever between twenty thousand or twenty twenty or thirty let's say thirty thousand whatever between thirty (laughs) thousand and one thousand on the brown section right now is uh, something that's interesting to you that you could play with other community members or people coming into your stream i want you to rotate that in okay for that one day thing that you're talking about no more project winter 
rotate that other game in and have fun with That's it. Such and, a good game. You know, do the same thing. Make it open for people to come in. Make it about them. And this will be your experimental thing to see if you can grab or move into different categories or subject or directories. But I'm excited to see where your stuff goes, dude. You got a, a lot of great talent. I just wish that talent would come out. <laughs> okay. And that was the review. Um, now, this is where I'm going to explain how I got affiliate in two weeks. <laughs> the good stuff is now. It is 32 minutes into the video. No one is watching at this point. <laughs> um, what he was saying about the open lobbies is a really good idea. So I have to thank Tonya for the, for the suggestion of the game. The game is Among Us. Some of you may already know me from that. Some of you may be new. Maybe you haven't even heard. Maybe you saw some other streamer playing Among Us. But Among Us was a great game because it had between 1,000 and 5,000 people watching. And I, I, when, anytime I looked at the Twitch directory, I'd either be one or two of the people that had open lobby. Now, the stats I'm going to give you are what was from my second Among Us stream where I labeled it an open lobby. People could come in. I um, join the game. The game is quite easy to join you. There's a little code at the bottom. It's a social deception game. Uh, six of you are survivors, two of you are traders. It's a fun game to play. It's also free on mobile. So it's very accessible for people to play and join in with. Um, I've made it a bit bigger. I've 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 joined. I've, I've made like a Discord that people can come into, so we can chat during like deliberations and stuff. You're not supposed to chat during the game, but like when you deliberate, I have a, a Discord that people can get into quite easily. But anyway, normally my average viewers would be like two, two, one or two. If I'm gonna be honest, like streaming like Fortnite or streaming in, in most games, except for Project Winter. But like, like I said, that ceiling on the game was really, really, really low. My second stream among us, I had a max viewers of 25 and I had an average viewer of 10. That's five to 10 times the viewers I had before. And I, and I would get this just because I put open lobby so people can join my game. There's barely any people on Among Us that had open lobby in their title. Some would have a tag that said playing with viewers, but no one had open lobby. So people would come into my stream, they would want to play with me, I'd let them in, we'd play, we'd have a fun time. It was it was a blast. We're still having a blast. We're doing Among Us streams every Thursday. Like it's it's really fun. The, the shouting matches you get in with people because they're like they see you do something you didn't do or no, I, I saw them walking away from the body but like I, I missed I walked over the body but anyway we digress but the other big thing was you saw I had 30 followers I now have 110 on the screen right now I'm going to put the uh, graphic of this my second Among Us stream it was this is the biggest Among Us stream I've had but every stream since then has been around the same so as you can see, average of 10 viewers, you can see this isn't like, this is mine because you can see from last stream, it's plus nine. So I had an average of one, yes, the day before. Max viewer 25, which is a plus 16. It's not, not too bad. I got two followers the, the stream before. I got 26 on a minor stream. 399 live views. Four, 45 unique chatters, 45 people who wanted to join into my game. How do I join? Can I join? This is hilarious. Anything like that. Anyway, so this is what I would say to anyone that's trying to stream or is trying to trying to get a, at least at least to affiliate. I think it's a great way to get affiliate. It's a great way to grow, get people that you wouldn't normally have on your followers, people getting into your Discord. Like I, my Discord's doing pretty well now that I'm doing these streams. Like people are jumping in. <clears throat> but anyway don't just copy among us because <laughs> the game's the game will probably die within a couple months if i'm gonna be honest like it's a great game but there's a shelf life there like game's been out for two years so it's it's gone strong so it, it may keep up a little bit but i think it's because some bigger streamers are starting to play it a bit more okay so i'm just gonna wrap it up here thank you wild for games for reviewing my channel Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this has been informative. If you're looking to get to affiliate or get, get more followers or just kind of grow your channel a bit, I would suggest getting a game that has has a, an ability to have people join. Like 
I see that there's a new game coming out for guys. I will be playing that. Absolutely. If you guys want to see it, I'm going to do another shameless plug. Twitch.tv for slash Liam Nantes. Um, we're going to be playing for guys. And I'll have the same thing with the Discord and open lobbies and all that jazz. And hopefully it'll it'll bang. And hopefully the game's good so I can play it for, for, for a long time. Like, I hope so. But yeah, you don't have to Among Us. You don't have to do Fall Guys. Just find a game that you enjoy, that you can play with viewers. But anyway, that's how I got Affiliate in two weeks just with this advice. So there's still things I have to change on my channel. There's still things... Um, that need improving my projection my chatting like I'm working on things every day I'm, I'm new to this as well thank you all for listening um, subscribe notifications check check out the Instagram check me out on Twitch Monday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I don't know how many times I'm putting this thing on the screen but let's, let's probably just twice anyway <laughs> um, I'll catch you guys later have a great day and stay positive now I've cooked with some pork since you what? fucking ran this the fucking, fucking boat straight into the rocks. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is this? What happened here? I told you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Accidents happen, guys. I think it's important. Wait a minute. To remember that. We, we can't get out of this. Nah. That we... thing is stuck. <laughs> wait. We're going to list a little bit. Just list lazily. Can you push right. the boat at the front? Oh, don't wait, wait, wait. I mean, that's not great. That, that fits in there. That, you know, <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't you? We had to that's turn. You turned it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just turned it away from the fucking rocks that we were fucking we knuckles deep in. Right?